Hello again, everyone, and happy Valentine's Day. Very appropriate day to be talking about nonviolence, which Martin Luther King called love in action. And uh, that's maybe something we can talk about later on. But in this next section of Search for a Nonviolent Future, I have a section called Three Lenses, where I talk about three different models or viewpoints through which we can look at violence. And I discuss a case where different groups of people in the same community were using totally different lenses, one moral and the other political, and therefore they could not communicate and they couldn't resolve the problem for that reason. So this is an early experiment in what George Lakoff has called framing and in what we now refer to as the new story. We'll be discussing those things. But as I said, there are three lenses, if you will, through which we could look upon violence. The first lens, which I've already dismissed a few days ago, is to think of it as an immoral act. The trouble with that lens is the meaning of moral, the meaning of evil has become very, very unclear and unagreed upon. So it leaves you with really no handle on the harm that violence causes, and that makes you vulnerable to be so desensitized that you then consider violence entertaining. So we don't want to use that lens. The next one, which is much better, much more helpful, is called the medical model, where you look upon um, violence as a kind of illness, which would go pretty well with the Buddha's teaching. He would call it uh, roga, or a kind of illness of the mind. It's a, it's a perfectly useful model. But I'm going to say that the most useful one is one that we haven't really started using yet, and that is the educational model, the one in which we believe that in a very deep sense, if I can create an act, commit an act of violence, or even have a, a violent thought, it's because of I'm ignorant of what that violence actually is doing to me and doing to everyone else. And I think I mentioned in that section that someone once asked me to define violence, say, what's the cause of violence? And I said, a failure of the imagination. Because we need our imaginative faculty sometimes to understand the dynamics of what we are doing to a system, to ourselves, and to others. So, and next time we speak, I will be talking to you about a remarkable episode that took place in a hospital in Los Angeles just before the first edition of Search for Nonviolent Future came out, the episode of Nurse Joan Black in the emergency room. But for now, I hope you are finding this useful from your comments. It seems that probably people are, so I will invite us once again to join the experiment. Thank you.